the author of Reborn in the USA, Roger Bennett. I'm curious what somebody who's been, you know, obsessed with America ever since it was morning in America under Reagan to this moment right now where there's so much traumatic division, what do you think of the rest of us finding each other over what it means to be an American who have never known anything else? Well, I, I ride with Team America now. You know, even when America play England at football, I am cheering for America because I have one rule in life, which is whatever side Piers Morgan on, I always try and take the other side. <laughs> so, God love you. God love you. America. Thank you for your service. But the reality was I wrote this book uh, when the Manhattan that I love that I dreamt about moving to was just the ground zero of COVID and the pandemic had gripped the city, sports had stopped, the city had dreamed of moving to since I was a little kid, was just overwhelmed and I didn't know what to do. And so I wrote this book as a love letter to try and retrace the contours of my love for the United States of America. And I wrote it almost in a fever dream and it started with the pandemic but then America, you know, just disintegrated into the Black Lives Matter summer, the agony, the trauma of that, into the election cycle, just the human darkness. Um, and there were moments when I was writing the book and I turned to my wife, I said, like, what am I doing releasing a love letter of America if things go a slightly terrible way in the election? The only people who want to hear about my love of America are on Newsmax and OANN. I'm going to have to get Don Jr. to blurb my book. Um, <laughs> But the, but the reality is I think Americans do love what new Americans love about America. And the love I had as a kid, which I talk about in the book, was that of a kid. As an adult, you realize anyone in a love relationship knows love is bloody hard work and the object of your affection is something you have to work at, has strengths and it has weaknesses. And the epigraph of the book, you know, epigraphs are funny things. You use someone else's words to say things smarter than you could ever Right, and I use the words of the great poet Langston Hughes, who said, oh, let America be America again, the land that never has been yet, and yet must be. And that's the spirit in which I offer the book, to be honest. And I think all of us who read the book or are in this theatre just want to close the gap between the American reality and the ideal of America that we hold in our head and in our heart. Well, thank you so much for being here. Lovely to talk to you. Reborn in the USA is on sale now. Roger Bennett, everybody. We'll be right back.